Welcome back to my channel, baddies. Um, haters would say that I'm in my garage right now um, using a cheap backdrop from Amazon, but they are lies. Um, I'm at a recording studio off-site. Um, very expensive stuff. But um, anyway, you guys, the tutorial for today is distressing with acrylic paint. I wish these lights in this studio weren't so bright and you could see the details, but you're about to see all the details up close. But I'm obsessed with it. I know I always say that, but I just, I am. I'm obsessed with all of them. They're so much fun to make, but guys, I hope you enjoy the tutorial. I put a lot of time, I put a lot of love and effort into my videos, and my favorite part is reading your guys' feedback. So please leave a comment. Let me know what you think so that I can produce better content in the future. And most of all, I hope you guys have a good time watching. Besitos! Hello, my sweet baddies. Guys, thanks for coming back to watch another tutorial. You guys are loyal. It's the loyalty for me. Um, okay, jumping right into this. We are going to paint our tumbler with light pink acrylic paint that I got at Joanne. Love Joanne. Um, and I'm gonna do two coats of this, um, but I'm gonna wait for the first coat to dry. As you guys know, I always sand my tumblers before I paint them. Um, and I clean them off with alcohol. Um, I wish that I could like prep all of my tumblers at like once and just like make a day of it and like paint them all white. But unfortunately, I never know what kind of glitter I'm going to use or what color I'm going to use. And today we're going to use a chunky glitter. And I do not want to do two coats of chunky because that is just <laughs> going to be really hard to cover. So to save myself a little bit of time and heartache I am gonna paint my tumbler the same a very similar color as the glitter um, just so that if you can you have a little bit of naked spots they won't be stainless steel or white they'll be pink so it'll still look absolutely amazing um, I can't wait for you guys to see the glitter that we're using it is so beautiful it's like this opaly pink oh my gosh I cannot wait once that first coat of acrylic paint dries, you can go right in with your second coat. If you don't want to mess with acrylic paint, you're totally welcome to do spray paint. I used the last little bit of my light pink spray paint on my previous tutorial. Hee <laughs> hee. So I decided to just use acrylic paint because I was feeling lazy and I had pizza rolls in the oven and I was wearing my Crocs and my sweatpants and I just didn't want to leave the house. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, you know what? acrylic paint it is. Um, I do use a blow dryer to dry each coat of um, the acrylic paint because you guys already know I'm super impatient and I like to get things cruising right along. Um, but anyway, I'll be back in just a moment so that we can apply our glitter. You guys are not, you ain't ready. I hope you guys are sitting down because you're going to have a heart attack when you see how pretty the pink chunky glitter is. I decided to apply my glitter with epoxy this time. Um, sometimes I do tacket method, sometimes I do Mod Podge, sometimes I do epoxy. I don't really know how I determine that. I guess it just depends on my mood or I don't even know. I don't even know. But in this case, we're going to do the epoxy method. Um, and you need a very, very little epoxy when you're doing this method um, because you don't want your glitter to be slipping and sliding after you like set your cup down to dry. And I know it looks like I'm applying a lot of epoxy to the cup, but it's only because the acrylic paint was absorbing a lot of the epoxy. But I promise you, it was a very thin coat and you want to have to like push down really hard to get that epoxy spread everywhere um, because I am going to hang this on a drying rack after I apply the glitter. And if it had a very thick coat of glitter of epoxy, um, the glitter would literally start to slide off and you would have a gooey, gunky, funky, dunky, lunky, ooh, ooh, mess in the morning. And you don't want to do that. We don't have time for that, you guys. Okay, we're queens. We got to keep it moving. Also, I'm sure you just peeped that little piece of stainless steel at the bottom that was exposed without paint. Don't even worry about it. We're going to distress this cup. So any imperfections, it's going to be okay. I promise. Um, just trust the process. But anyway, guys, so once I get this completely coated, we're going to move right along to my glitter. And the glitters that I'm going to be using today, I'm going to be using a chunky and a fine mix. The chunky is called Legacy. It's from Glitterful. It is freaking beautiful. I have had this since last year. 
and this is my first time using it and I don't know why I waited so long to use it but look at that shine it's so beautiful like a starry night it's beautiful Ooh, like that song you're beautiful anyway freaking love this color um I literally ripped the plastic off of this when I used it like does that ever happen to you guys that you buy glitter that you love and then it sits on your shelf forever I've got to stop doing that because honestly, I have so much glitter that I've never used and it's just, it's an injustice. Like, I, no, 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 no. We can't do that around here. Plus, if my husband knew how much money I spent on glitter and that a lot of it is just sitting around, ooh, he watches my tutorials. Hi, honey. Um, Just kidding. This is all for show, honey, okay? This is all for show. It's not true. Just, I promise, it's not true. Just, just keep watching, honey, okay? Love you. Also... <laughs> If you're watching this, you should take me out for chicken wings tonight. Mwah! Okay, guys, moving right along. So I went ahead and did two little coats of glitter, even though earlier I said I wasn't going to do two coats. I'm a freaking hypocrite, clearly. But to uh, hide any like little spaces that I missed, I went in with alohomora. <laughs> I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Alohomora. But it is just beautiful. It's like this fine holographic-y, opal-y, color shifty pink. And the reason I was using this is because I wanted it to go in between all of those little spaces where chunky glitter didn't adhere and there was like exposed uh, spray paint. Not, yeah, exposed spray, spray paint. Um, I This just kind of helped me fill in those little gaps and make sure that every single part of the tumbler had glitter on it. You guys, these two colors went really well together. I do want to apologize because these are colors from last year. I bought these like a very long time ago when I first started making tumblers. So if you cannot find these exact colors, Glitterful has a lot of beautiful pink glitters and a lot of pink finds that you can use and you will get a very similar look, I promise. So I'm just apologizing in advance in case they don't have these guys. And I hate using something that I've had for so long, but guys, I gotta use my glitter, okay? Please don't be mad at me and please don't leave me because I would be very sad. Um, but anyway, moving right along, I'm gonna use, actually, I've already been using my gloved hand to press down the chunky glitter. You can also do parchment paper. Um, I didn't have any. Um, but you can take parchment paper, wrap it around your tumbler, and then just press down the 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 glitter. But I decided to use my gloved hand. And the way I look at it is when you're doing this, any glitter that falls off, it that means there wasn't a spot for it to adhere to and it wasn't meant to be there, okay? And you shouldn't force what's not meant to be. So don't be sad if any glitter falls off. If you've been watching my tutorials, you already know that I love sealing my glitter with polycrylic. I do the clear gloss. I always do two coats. I've already done that. And now we're going to move on to Quick Coat. Quick Coat is a product from Counterculture CC DIY. And basically it is used... Ooh, look at that slow-mo. Yes, honey. Um, so we are going to be using Quick Coat to help the glitter lay flat. And it also creates kind of like a seal so that your chunky glitter doesn't absorb all of your epoxy. And also sometimes it's hard to pop bubbles over chunky glitter. And so Quick Coat is something that just helps you get like a really quick like base sealer um, so that you need to use less epoxy to cover the chunky glitter so that it's easier to pop the bubbles over the chunky glitter and a lot of people also use it to like seal vinyl so that it doesn't peel up and stuff like that so I really only use clear coat when I'm using chunky glitter other than that I, I say I try to save it um, but please, please read the instructions on the bottle, um, because it does tell you to make sure that you are wearing a chemical mask and eye protection. Um, this is not, um, something that you want to be inhaling or potentially damaging your eyes. So guys, please make sure you read the instructions, um, and that you take all the safety precautions. I work out of my loft <laughs> haters would say it's a garage and it is <laughs> um but i always have my garage door half open or all the way open so not only do i wear eye protection and a chemical mask at all times but 
I have proper ventilation. So just please keep that in mind, you guys, and, and do your research. Just be safe. I don't want anything to happen to my baddies. I would be really sad. Um, so total, I did two coats of this and I let it completely dry. I think I walked away and let this spin for like 40 minutes before I came back to do epoxy. And I am going to go ahead and do my very first coat of epoxy. So I am trying out a new resin today for the very first time from DIY Epoxy. Um, I will go ahead and provide a link to their website uh, in the description in case you guys want to try it out. Um, this is my first time using it. I've never used it before. Um, it is a little bit of a thicker viscosity. So for those of you that like to be able to get like a pretty thick coat, you know, over your glitter on that first time and you don't like the thinner viscosities, um, this is definitely a good epoxy for you. Um, it doesn't really have a smell. Also, please don't confuse not having a smell with like not having bad fumes because all epoxy puts off really bad fumes regardless of whether or not you can smell it. So just please make sure you use protection because I don't want anything to happen to you guys. Um... But anyway, so this was my first time using it. And obviously in this part of the video, I'm barely applying it and popping the bubbles. Um, but in the next clip, I'm going to show you what it looks like once it's dry. And I thought it was very beautiful. It's very shiny. It has a very nice finish. Um, can we talk about how the glitter looks under epoxy? Can we, t can, can we sit down for a moment and look at that glitter? Okay. Yes, honey, fire. I'm gonna use a 100 grit sanding block to sand this tumbler. I'm not gonna like go crazy with sanding. I'm just gonna give it a very light little sand um, just to remove any super prickly, pointy um, little areas. And I just wanna get it a little bit smooth before I add my second coat of epoxy. But to be honest with you guys, um, I got really good coverage um, over the glitter in this one coat and I think it was a combination of the fact that the epoxy is a little bit of a thicker viscosity so you get like more coverage in one coat but also that quick coat like that helps your glitter lay flat and it just helps so that your glitter doesn't absorb all of that epoxy um it just creates like a really nice barrier so highly recommend both products um now we're gonna move on we're gonna clean it up like we always do I'm gonna get my handy dandy uh, sponges inside. I get them from Amazon. They're literally called tumbler sponges and they're my favorite to use. I will link them in the description for you guys. You can get a pack of four for like 16 or $17, so it's not too bad. And now we're gonna go in with our second coat of epoxy. Just wanna show you guys what the containers look like. Um, but yes, we're going to do our second coat and then we're going to let this spin for 24 hours. And once this is completely dry, that's when we're going to come back and do our acrylic paint, which I'm so freaking excited for. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to show you guys this, um, like how it's going to look once it's distressed and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, guys, I am going to go ahead and stop talking because I'm thirsty. Um... Listen, you get real thirsty when you're talking shit. Hee <laughs> hee, just kidding. But anyway, listen to my song and I'll be right back. With your feet in the air, your head on the ground. Try this trick and spin it, yeah. And your head will collapse because there's nothing in it. Ask yourself, where is my mind? Where is my mind? Where is my mind? I was swimming in the Caribbean. Animals were hiding. It's time to add our acrylic paint. So I want to do pink and white for the distressing. Um, I want it to be like really girly and just really pretty pinks. And so I decided to go with a light pink acrylic paint um, underneath. And then 
I'm gonna go over this with white so that when I distress, you're gonna see a little bit of that pink underneath the white paint. Um, so for this, you just wanna do nice thin coats of acrylic paint. Um, if you, a lot of people distress using spray paint, which is totally okay. Um, I just, every single time I have tried it, it just has never looked the way I want it to look. I don't know why. Um, but when I use spray paints and acetone to remove uh, the spots that I want to distress, I've never been able to get that look that I'm going for until I started distressing using acrylic paints. So that is why I'm really excited um, to do this tutorial because um, who knows, maybe some of you are having the same issue as me or maybe this is just something new that you could try and just see if you like it. Um, but once that dries completely, we're gonna go ahead and go in with white. Now, you'll notice that over the pink uh, acrylic paint, I don't have full coverage, like you can see the streaks and you can see through, that's totally okay. The pink is really only meant to be there so that when you distress, you can show a little bit of that pink coming through, which is why it's okay that we don't have like full coverage on the pink. Um, but whatever color you choose to do on top, you do want to get pretty good coverage. Um, so I am going to do two coats of white. I'm going to let this coat dry completely, and then I'm going to come in and do one more coat. Um, I'm going for like a really, really specific look. I want my tumbler to be like super distressed. I want it to have little cracks. And I just want the tumbler to end up looking like it's really old. Um, and I know that sounds weird right now, but as I continue to show you like <laughs> what I'm talking about, you'll be like, oh yeah, that makes sense. I'm not gonna force you beauty queens and kings to keep listening to me talk. So I am going to play a little song for you and let you guys keep watching me apply the acrylic paint. Um, just keep in mind that I did let the first coat completely dry before I went in with the second coat. Thanks for watching. Moment of honesty. Someone's gotta take the lead tonight. Who's it gonna be? I'm gonna sit right here and tell you all that comes to me If you have something to say, you should say right now You give me a feeling that I never felt before And I deserve it, I think I deserve it it's becoming something that's impossible to ignore And I can't take it, I was wondering maybe Could I make you my baby? If we do the unthinkable, would it make us look crazy? If he asked me, I'm ready If he asked me, I'm once our acrylic paint is completely dry, we're gonna move on to distressing. Now, I'm gonna explain to you guys why I use water. Also, I would re not recommend doing this inside your house, in your sink. You don't want that paint going down the drain, but the circumstances of this day led me to have to do it in my half bath downstairs, so I'm so sorry. Um, but anyway, you guys, I'm using water because I want to get the acrylic paint wet so that it starts cracking. I know that sounds crazy. I know that sounds crazy. But the specific look that I'm going for um, at the end is like a very rustic, very like crackle, um, old looking look, vibe. So that's why I'm getting my tumbler completely soaked. However, um, if you don't want that specific look, you just want normal distressing, what you would do is you would take either your sanding block or your sanding paper and just dip it in water. The water helps remove the acrylic paint easily, more easier, I guess, so that you don't have to use as much elbow grease, if that makes any sense. Um, so normally you wouldn't want to submerge your entire cup the way I'm doing, but I'm doing this because, like I said, I want to get my um, acrylic paint wet. I want it to start cracking. I want to get some texture. And as you guys know, whenever you're distressing, there is no rhyme or reason. There's no specific pattern. Um, you kind of just go and remove little areas where you think it looks good. And I wanted to do pretty big sections because I really wanted to show off that really beautiful um, glitter. And also guys, <laughs> my tutorials are always so ghetto. I'm like the Walmart version of 
like YouTubers. <laughs> I'm sorry I keep bumping the tripod, you guys. If you guys would have seen what I had to do to get this shot, it was crazy. But anyway, um, so yeah, I just kind of go around the tumbler and just remove paint from areas um, and explode, ex explode, excuse me, not explode, expose that really beautiful um, glitter. And in a minute, you're going to start to see that my paint is getting very wet. And so it's starting to come off really easily. I'm now going to take... Um, a paper towel and pat this dry because I've gotten it to the point where I want it and the acrylic paint is pretty wet and it's getting those like cracks and that texture so I'm gonna go ahead and finish off and rinse it and then I'm gonna pat it dry make sure you don't rub um, you want to just pat it dry and then I'm gonna set this outside to dry for a couple of hours and once it's completely dry I'm gonna come back and show you the outcome here it is um, you'll see that cracking and that texture makes it look like really old paint that's been in the Sun for years that is exactly the texture that I was going for um, that is literally exactly what I wanted and as soon as you see my decal you'll understand why <laughs> so I'm going for this like kind of western-ish vibe with like the crackle paint and all that good stuff. Now the reason I am applying my water slide directly over the spray paint is because I want that texture under the water slide. I know that normally <laughs> you would never say this but I almost want like those cracks in my water slide um, that make it look like it's been sitting out in the sun for years and it belongs on that paint that's been cracked and like damaged and distressed um if you don't want that if you don't want that look you would epoxy over your acrylic paint and then when you have a smooth surface surface then you would go in with your water slide but i want that texture and that like crackle effect under my water slide um which is why i decided to apply it directly over the the textured um acrylic paint um after this I'm gonna set this aside, let it dry for a couple of hours. Ooh, always make sure you pat your water slides dry, okay? You guys never rub. Um, after this, I'm gonna set it aside to dry, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna apply our epoxy. Look how cute that looks, you guys. I'm sad that you can't see it in person because it really is just such a cool texture. Um, so I'm gonna do a pretty generous coat of epoxy because I really want this to be my final coat. Um, and so I'm not doing a flood coat, but I am doing like a thicker, a thicker. I, no, it's not a flood coat. It's just thicker than the layers I would normally apply. Um, but anyway, you guys, I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I hope that you learned something new. And if you didn't, then I hope you had fun watching me. Um, if you guys do try to make this tumbler or to do something similar, please show me because I just, I love when you guys tag me and show me what you're working on. And I love reposting you guys on my Instagram stories and just putting that spotlight on you because you guys are amazing and you deserve it. And also you guys, if you want to interact with me or message me or anything like that, my Instagram is like, the number one place where I'm that I'm on all day just checking messages and stuff and that's Myra underscore makes underscore it um, on Instagram so thanks so much for watching you guys stay tuned for the pictures of the final product and until next time I love you guys besitos I know you unsets me this is exactly how it should feel when it's meant to be Time is only waste and so I wait for eventually If we gon' do something about it, we should do it right now You give me